All right, I'm an old man. I've been watching up. I've been coming up here since the mid '60s, and you had a pretty good run nine years ago. Old? I'm pretty old. You had a pretty good run nine years ago in the Champ Car race, but I just told Vassar. I said there wasn't half the competition in that race. And Vassar goes, I was in that race. I said, Yeah, you were on the other side of the other side of the river, buddy. You weren't the old guy. Maybe, maybe the most ac accomplished feeling you've ever had, as far as just dominating and kicking and running wide open. Yeah, you, you, you just don't even realize what's going on, but you know, you start 11th, then next thing you know, you're you know P6, P5, P4, running for the for the lead, and and just having good sequences on pit stops. You know, the boys did a great job, and the car was really solid. We could run the low line, which was really key, because if you wanted to move forward, you couldn't just stay behind the guys. You had to go somewhere else, and and that was the bottom for most of the race. And then everybody started to kind of figure out towards the end, so they ran in the middle, so it made it a lot harder to make progress but we were through by then so just this this place is so so unique when when the car is like that it's just the best feeling but you can have the best day of your racing career and the worst <laughs> the next year so um, it's really humbling experience and and you know that's off to hydroxycut the boys and chevy because they just they just gave it all to us when they came on and said we want you to stay out what your first thoughts or did you say let me stay out the very first time no we uh we kind of got caught out I, they were debating you know come in you know not come in and and they didn't think the leaders were gonna come in and they did and we didn't really have time to talk about it they came in and I just I didn't hear anything and they was like well I guess we're staying out <laughs> and uh, at that point I started to do the math and the, the yellow started to be very long and there was another yellow I'm like oh man come on so yeah I, I got I got very worried but then you know at that point I said you know what I'm just gonna have fun just enjoy the the clean air and run like hell and uh, and on new tires we just went through the field and it was just you lapped the field we, we, we lapped the field all right we lapped the field <laughs> I mean, you, that's what's cool is you're coming you're going wait a minute I'm lapping these guys I'm not racing them for position I'm lapping them and then the second the last time the question comes out which you don't want to see and you're thinking there's no way I'm coming in yeah, oh yeah no no way I mean with the number of laps left as, as crucial as uh, as clean air was you know I, I knew enough at that stage how to keep most anybody behind me because if you if you were running in the middle nobody unless your car was falling apart nobody was going by you so I, I knew exactly what to do and I was running the outside to keep my tires and then I, I heard Chris telling me on the radio you know he's running the inside in three and four and, and moving forward and closing in and then I slammed the door and, and that was that you know as soon as he got some turbulence he was done so uh, where no, it, it's one of those where you feel totally in control and, and just and all of a sudden you feel like a real oval racer which has never really been me so you know it's awesome <laughs> Sebastian Bordeaux had a lot of great victories in his career four-time champion at champ car but this might be number one Robin Miller for racer.com thanks for watching